Greetings viewers, Serpent speaking, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make how to make this pretty nifty, pretty easy villager breeder. It's based on Impulse SV's design, which um, was good except for one fatal flaw, which was that the babies often didn't exit, and so the the villagers just built up in this area. I've fixed that with this zombie pigman named Ralph. So let's, as you can see, the um, the villagers are breeding. So let's show you how to build it. Before we do though, there is, um, you do need to be careful about not putting these too close to a village. Within 60 blocks of a village, which that one is just out of range of, um, these things will be messed up by the, the fact that there's another village there. Um, but anyway, now let's get into the building of it. I'm not going to bother with that last rule since I'd have to fly too far away, but you want to start out by placing a hole in the ground with water, and um, around that you want to go one, two, three, four, hoe out four blocks in each direction, and um, you'll be ending up with a nine by nine area of grass, uh, sorry, of tilled dirt, so keep that in mind if you're not playing where there's a bunch of grass around. <laughs> Um, so we'll just hoe this down and then move on. Next you want to fill up the tilled dirt with some potatoes or carrots but not wheat or beetroot because the seeds from those will clog up the inventories of the villagers and we don't want that happening. So um, next you put an iron trap door over the, over the water there and then you go up one block <laughs> and then on the side of that block, place some more iron trap doors. In the center there, place your zombie pigman and give him a name so he doesn't despawn. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, um, or that. And then you can put glass or blocks around the outside to stop the grown-up villagers getting out, just like that. Make sure it's two blocks high so that the, um, so that the uh, large villagers can't get out and make sure there's a one block gap underneath it so the baby villagers can, otherwise they, um, <laughs> they'll be trapped and they'll build up, which um, isn't desirable. Now that you've got the glass in, you, you, should, dig a two, um, <laughs> you should dig a trench around the uh, platform and make it three deep because otherwise the baby villagers could get trapped under the um, trap doors and drown in the water, which um, isn't a good thing either and I'll just do one more layer, and there we go. Next you'll place your water streams in, we'll be adding the villagers last, and you can use pressure plates, open um, fence gates, signs, whatever for the water blocking things. There are a few of those you can use, it doesn't matter, just as long as they can block the water, um, and not block mobs. And once you've got that in, just, just like the, whoops, let me out just like that, so one in the corner, and then when it stops, place a trap uh, a blocker, and then another one after that, and do that until you reach the corner, just over here, and you may have to block this off temporarily to see where it ends, <laughs> um, and now you should have something that looks just like that, without the hole that I broke through at some point. Once you've, do once you've got that, you'll want to go to the corner that you have your water streams po pointing into. This corner, by the way, is going to be where your um, villagers will, or the baby villagers will go to, to be taken out, taken out of the system. So you should probably pick that beforehand. Um, and then once you've picked the corner, you place, you dig in two blocks and two high, and then you place a block there. It doesn't have to be a, a transparent block, but I like glass because it lets you see a little bit more. Um, then you can place water on top of the on top of the pressure plate so that the baby villagers will be washed into this hole right here and then when they grow up their faces will grow into this water and they'll swim up and then you, from there you can move the baby villagers anywhere just with water streams and before we uh, we do any of the detection villager stuff which I've already done because I recorded these clips out of order but don't worry it's still coming Place the uh, trap doors down in here, just like this, and open them. Whoops, don't need one there. And this will just allow the little baby villagers to fall off the platform. And 
because they'll perceive these as full blocks and just run full tilt over them and they'll fall off. What shame. Open them and then that will be all that done and it <laughs> taking a while and there it should look like that so that when the baby villagers are um, spawned in they will uh, see the pigman but since the tall villagers are too tall to see him because of the trap doors only the baby villagers will run full, t full tilt off the edge. Now you want to put your detection village in and you'll do that by going right over here two blocks from the glass and placing a block and going well going one two three four five six seven blocks up and you can break all of those now and place a little cross like this with a, um, a bit of a fat thing over there basically just place blocks like that and then slabs here and across like that and then a block up like that and slab, a slab over there then place doors on these blocks and this is where your detection villager will go right in this um, little cell there so you'll probably have to remove some of that to get them in still we can now place our villagers into the farm and we'll be needing um, one brown coat like this if they've got the black um, if they've um, okay if they're like this that's not a brown coat and similarly that's not a brown coat either that's something that confused me when I first started out doing this um, and then you'll also need one other villager of any type whatsoever eventually they'll the carrots will the carrots or crops will get, grow and this guy will pick them and then he'll replant and toss food to this person if he needs it and then they can breed when they're both full and that's actually the whole the whole farm done if you're wondering why that's trampled I stopped on it um, as you can see over here these two villagers have already been produced and that's good when they grow up they'll grow into the water but hopefully this video was useful you'll probably want to do a better job of mob spawn proofing this than I did but this has been Serpent, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.